We're gonna be sewing men's shorts. It was requested. So I made a shorts pattern, front, back, pocket, and facing. It's pretty beginner friendly. And I'm selling a pattern on my Etsy store, so I'll link that down below. You're gonna need fabric. I would recommend a yard and a half. I thrifted this blanket. It's actually, don't make fun of me, but it's a Taylor Swift blanket. I like the gradient here. You're gonna need fabric and 32 inches of elastic that is one and a half inches wide. So let's get into the tutorial. I will be marking out the shorts with chalk so I can get the print placement that I want. I actually recut one of the front pieces because I really didn't like it and I like the front currently. I wish that the front and the back were both just like soft ombres like this because I feel like it's too busy in the back but I don't have more fabric. I'm just gonna keep going with it. Here we are with the two fronts and the two backs. We are going to sew the two fronts together at the crotch. So what I'm doing, I'm taking the two pieces and I'm placing them right side to right side. And I will sew at a quarter of an inch on this crotch line. This is what it looks like. And I'll do the same thing with the back pieces. So I'm going to set this aside. So I have my two back pieces. I'm gonna place them right side to right side. And I'm sewing it at a quarter of an inch. This is what the back looks like. Next step will be to serge or clean finish these raw edges. All right. That is done. I went ahead and cut the pocket pieces. There are t four total pockets, two soft, two lining, and two pocket facings. I took the pocket facing, folded it at the edge at a quarter of an inch, placed it on the pocket bag, and I'm top stitching on the edge. After that is done, I am moving on with the pocket lining. I'm matching the notches on the pocket to the notches on the shorts. Sew from notch to notch at a quarter of an inch. Clip into it right at the end point and flip the pocket to the back. And you're going to iron this neatly. It will look like this. Go ahead and 
you're going to top stitch the pocket at a quarter of an inch. It should look like a half rectangle. That's what it looks like. Slide the other pocket right underneath. And you will see a quarter inch peeking out. So you're going to sew a quarter of an inch all around the pocket bag. Once you've done that, go ahead and overlock all around. It will look like this. Flip it to the right side. Take the back piece and place it right side to right side. The next step will be to match the crotch seams. I like to make sure the seams are facing in the same direction. And pin together the inseam. Sew at a quarter of an inch. Once you've done that, Pin the side seams of the short and sew at a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Go ahead and overlock the side seams and the inseam. Looking good. Flip the pant, I mean, flip the short inside out. And we will just tack down the pocket. So on those two points, just tack it down. Next, we will work with the elastic, fold over about a quarter of an inch and top stitch. Once your elastic is stitched together, I like to evenly distribute the elastic on the waistband. So I put four pins and I'm matching the back, the front, and the side seams. I'm also leaving a little bit of room. You'll see why. So you can see there's about a quarter of an inch sticking out. Fold that over. This is a little bit more than a quarter of an inch since this fabric frays a lot, but fold over a quarter of an inch on the elastic and stitch it down in place. The next step is to pin the pocket to the short temporarily and you will fold down the elastic and this will catch the pocket and you'll have a clean finish waistband. So edge stitch all around. And stretch the elastic as you go. This is what it will look like. The last step is to fold the hem a quarter of an inch and then three quarters of an inch and so all around. This is what the final short looks like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, comment down below. The link for this pattern is in the description box. Thanks for watching. Bye.